Okay, welcome to part two of creating a deployment for Paint by Text. I pushed the loom button, and that actually stops the recording, which was not what I was trying to do. So here's the first version. Nice AI-generated title there. Um, okay, so we got it working on the new code path using deployments. Uh, but there's an issue here, which is that... Uh, this deployment that we've created is only accessible to um, the replicate org and an API token in that org. But this is actually an open source application that we built. So we actually still need a code path to support people who are just cloning this uh, GitHub repository and getting this thing running locally for the first time. We don't want that to, to break for. For, for users. So we actually need two different code paths here. We need to figure out a way to um, conditionally run the model through a deployment or just through the regular uh, public API. Right, Pierre? Right. Okay, onward. <clears throat> so I think uh, I had to do this in another app, Scribble Diffusion, and the way I did it is I just use an environment variable to toggle between deployments or public model. So we'll say if process.env.use replicate deployment, then we want to do this. Otherwise, we will, that's where this part comes in. We're just going to run the public model. So uh, in the case where we're running the public model, it's a very similar API request, but it's not exactly the same. So we'll do go back to let prediction here, and then I think all we need to do is take that out, and then let's see if we get some fancy type signature help for this method here. Um, no. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go back to uh, here, and what do we want to do? We want to create. So that the create method takes a version and an input. So it's similar to this, but a little bit different. So the version is this thing here. Let's just put it in the variable. Our version and Matt Jmuda is saying hello to me. Hey, I'm good. I'm recording a uh, <laughs> a deployments live demo right now. Um, you're a, you're a star. You're, you're making a cameo in this thing. Um, I'll come find you in a few minutes. No worries. Okay, bye. Okay, this is a cool app we use called Gather where all our team can just wander around and talk to each other. Um, so, we want to run this with version and um, input is rec.body. And we keep this URL hanging around in a comment here so we actually know what the heck this version is pointing to. Someday it'll be nice if we have a way of qualifying these with a short form where you would say something like uh, const version is uh, owner model name and then maybe like the first eight characters. So this would be nicer as a version identifier. Someday, hopefully, we'll get there. Goals. But for now, we just specify the actual raw version ID. Okay, so we have two code paths here. One is if we're using a replicate deployment, use the deployment endpoint to run it. Otherwise, 
use the public model. Same input, different model path. Okay, so just for our own sanity, we'll do console.log using deployment, not using deployment, and then we'll take this, put it in the end, and we can put anything in here. You betcha. Because this is just checking for the existence of the variable, not the value of it. All right, so now let's kill the server, restart it so it, oh, I'm still used to hitting Command K, npm run dev. Get this thing going. All right, so I'm expecting to see something in here that says using deployment. Uh, yes, using deployment, and if we go to our deployment, we should see a new prediction running. Great. I'm going to... Uh, let's, let's stick around and see if it actually works. This is a mug that one of my kids made. This is Jake from Adventure Time. It's kind of having a hard time focusing on that. One, two, three, four, five. Where's my sunflowers turned into roses? Hmm. Still running. 43 seconds in. So, hmm. I wonder <clears throat> how the performance on the A40 compares to the A100. So this one took 26 seconds. If we go back to the dashboard and I look at um, under my personal context, user context, it looks like there's some variability. So some of these call, if I filter down and I just look at all the predictions on this model, some of them are 18, 7, 34, 6, Overall, it looks like most of them are in the like, well, it's hard to say, 18 second range, some of them are. So there's just some variation there. Um, coming back to here, this one took 50 seconds. So my very initial impressions, comparing the A100 runtimes to the A40 runtimes suggest that the A40 is noticeably slower but it is actually working so for the purposes of this demo app maybe it's okay that it takes longer but one of the nice things about deployments is that now we, we actually have the option of going oh that was too slow let's switch to an a100 or you know even bigger a100 um, and we have the flexibility now without um, having to change our code which is great um, okay so we tested that the deployments based path works. What if we take this out and kill the app and we run it? And what we would expect to see here is this refreshes and then we run it and now it should say not using deployments. Ooh. The request Failed. Invalid version or not permitted. Why is that? So, is this a valid version? Should be, right? Um, I think if we go to this model, look at versions. That's the version number. Um, hmm, what happened? Did we get our API request formatted correctly? 
Prediction is great. So we're using that replicate base token. This one, which I still need to erase after fact. Um, Okay. So why did we get that error? Um, unprocessable entity. this API call wrong. I did. Look. Input. Prompt. Oh no. Let's see. Yeah, this should be like this. Not in another Okay, yeah, I screwed up this up. So this should be an object. These aren't positional arguments. The create method takes an object with a version key. Okay, I just malformed that. Okay, so I'm hoping that I can now... Oh man, command K, old habits die hard. Okay, cleared it. Rerun it. Restart the server. Um, clear it again. Run. Not using deployment. Okay, cool. Prediction. Looks like the prediction was created. I can actually grab this prediction ID. Go to replicate.com slash p slash prediction ID. And it shows me that it's running. Great. There it goes. So this is running on the public model on the A100. And again, the purpose of this is that it allows any Replicate user, whether they are a Replicate employee or just a new user, customer, to clone this app, set an API key, and be able to use the application with the option to switch it to using deployments. So, there you have it. Um, I know this was a little long-winded. Hopefully, now you know what deployments are. Now you know a little bit more about why to use them and how to use them on open source apps. Thanks for watching. Bye.